Hey guys, today is January the 12th, 2021. Today I'd like to show you my tomato seedlings. Here you can see I have about 1800 tomato seedlings. They were sold on uh, 20th December last year. And so they are about three weeks old. They look pretty healthy and strong. And this is the hope for my whole growing season. So let me show you what I did and what I used to grow the tomato seedlings in January. So first of all, I use a little magic tool. It is the heating wires. So let's take this off and you can see the wires. These are heating wires. It's plastic outside, but it's metal inside. It's about 10 watts per meter and I have a 100 meter long wire underneath the trays and that's enough for 1800 uh, tomato seedlings and because the wires are hitting the root areas directly so the roots get really healthy uh, that's why I have a strong tomato seedlings the heating wires is supposed to be used with the temperature controller but right now the temperature read uh, 19 degrees and I can set up the starting temperature 16 degrees and the stop temperature 20 degrees so I can keep a relatively stable and warm temperature for the seedlings but since they are three weeks and they are getting bigger so I'd like to decrease this temperature so I'd like to stop it at 18 degrees but start it at 15 so that's in that case the tomato seedlings will growing slower but stronger this is the probe of the temperature controller so i put it directly in the tray just beside the, root, the roots so the temperature reading it's just the temperature of the tray of the root area so it's uh, pretty accurate the second very important tool is the LED lights because here the daylight is very short and the sunlight is pretty weak so I need to add light to the seedlings but the lights are supposed to be used with the uh, time controller so right now you can see it's on the automatic mode. Uh, let me show you my setup. So the lights will be on at 6 o'clock in the morning and off at 10.30. And you, they will be on again at 3.40 and off again at uh, 10 o'clock at night. So that in that way, the siblings can get enough light and they can sleep well at night the third tool I use is this portable heater it burns uh, propane because the water I pump from outside the greenhouse is from a dugout It's freezing water is almost zero degrees so I heat it to 20 degrees and when I water the seedlings so they feel comfortable it's like a warm bath this small one doesn't work, it's too small. So this 18 liter uh, water heater works pretty well. Another thing I want to mention is I made this uh, high bed for, for the seedlings because I want to lift them off the ground. There's some benefits of doing this because um, sometimes the seedlings are bothered by bugs or even mice the mice like seeds so uh, if you raise it off the ground uh, they are not bothered by these pests and when there's a, a excessive water the water will just drip down to the ground so uh, you will never have too much water and uh, the roots can breathe very well so you get a stronger roots and if you don't raise the trays of the ground, 
eventually the roots will grow out of the trees from below and the roots will combine with the soil and then when you try to lift the trees you'll break the roots okay that's it for today's video hopefully i can transplant the tomato seedlings before march thanks for watching